Okay, in the previous tutorial, we started covering water gems, of course, as a hydraulic modeling tool for designing water distribution network. Today, we are going to proceed with water gems and we are going to add more concepts that we did not cover in the previous tutorial. So if you're interested, make sure that you watch until the end. And if you're new here, my name is Engineer Lodrich and this is Hydroinformatics Academy, a place where we discuss about technologies related to water supply and irrigation. With that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so this is our software, which is Water Gems Connect Edition. Then from here, if you don't have this kind of window, what you, uh, what you need to do is to select the new. So you just go to file and select new, or you can just uh, click uh, this area here. You can see you have the new options here. Or if you're using window, then you can just click Control N, then this window here will be activated. So before we even do anything, what we need to do is to make sure that we have the settings or the, the, the default settings that we want to use for our project. Okay. So with that, the first option is to select home, then select options. Okay. So this is the first option. And again, if I select this one, you can see I have this uh, little window here. And we have the uh, these two options, transient solver and the steady state or EPS solver. For now, we are interested with the steady state and the EPS solver. Okay, so I will select uh, this one here, base calculations options, and I will right click it and select properties. Then, as soon as I click properties, this is the window that I am having. Now, we have several options here that we can set. Okay, so the first one is a friction method. For now, and for this tutorial, I don't want to use the Hazen Williams, I want to use the Das West Pack. Because the previous story we, we used the Hazen William, so this is the Das West Pack turn. Okay, so let me select this uh, Das West Pack. And again, the other calculation, the other settings, of course, you could, we can just maintain calculation types, uh, type rather. And also, time analysis type. Of course, for now, I'm going to use a steady state, so I'm going to stick with the steady state. But if you are, you are using a EPS or extended period simulation, then this is the option to change. But for now, I'm going to stick with the steady state. And the, the other option, the other option, of course, the engine compatibility. Of course, we have several options here, but I'm going to stick with the default uh, value, which is a um, uh, water gems 2.00 okay okay so that is setting number one let me close everything actually uh, those two windows then the next uh, option for settings is to select tools okay so apart from home let me select tools so this is the uh, so this is the uh, is the other areas that we can change some settings here of course i just selected this one you can see this one here let me select options and this window here is going to appear. Now from here, we have several options that we can change, okay? But what we are interested with is the units, okay? So of course you can change these global values. Just make sure that you go through them. And if you want to change anything, you, you can change it from here. But for me, I'll just go straight to the units. And this is very important, guys, because we want to select the ACI unit. Of course, if you want to use the empirical uh, units or the US customary units, you can set them from here but for me i am interested with the si units i'm going to select this one and of course i'll make sure that i maintain the si units so these are the other units that you want that you can change okay so these are the units that, uh, that you can change uh, for me i don't think if there is anything that i can change but for now let me click uh, okay to close my uh, window here that is part one done of course we have the units that we want to use the next step the next step is to make sure that we draw our actual network in the previous tutorial or the first tutorial we used at this option here okay so we entered the each element one by one okay reservoir by itself but for now we are going to uh, use the other option which is uh, this one here so if i click this you can see uh, we have this option and if as soon as I clicked it, we have this um, junction icon there. You can see that uh, black dot. So that is the junction, right? But I want to draw the reservoir. But for now, as you can see, the junction option is activated and this is something that I don't want. So I'll just right click my mouse and uh, from here, I'll just select the reservoir. Okay, reservoir because this is what I want to start with. 
Okay, so as you can see now, the reserver option is activated. Now from here, I'll just uh, click somewhere here. You can see now the reserver is activated already and we have our reserver here with a label R-1. But if you can see my cursor, the reserver option is still active. But for now, I don't want to use the reserver anymore. What I want to use is the, is the junction, right? Now, if I right click this, okay, if I right click, you can see we have the other options again. So I want to select the junction. And this is my junction. Let me introduce the junction here. So this is junction J1. And again, this is the pipe P1. Okay, so as soon as I click this J1, this uh, P1, link P1 is activated. Of course, link is the pipe. Okay, so for now, I need to add the other junctions here. Okay, and this one. So if I want to close here, I can just click on top of J1 junction one here just click on top of it then we are done but to close everything here you, you can just click escape or you can just right click and click done or you can just click escape it is the same option but for now this is the first part of our network i need to draw the other part so if you click um, escape then this window is the so the layout option is deactivated so i need to click it again and to click on top of j3 and to introduce the other part of the network let me select this j5 and also i need to click somewhere here and also somewhere around here and uh, here that is j8 and to close my uh, network here, I can just click on top of J5. Okay, now we are done. So from here, you can just click uh, uh, right click and done, or you can just click escape to close everything. But for now, you, as soon as I click done, you can see the layout option is still active. I can just 